Hello dear friends. You are on the channel quotes of great men, enjoy watching. If indeed the gods are able to listen to us, the greatest of all blessings that they could bestow upon humanity would be to reveal to us the truth about our own lives, the nature of our souls, and the path to true happiness. Consider the whole of your life, the past, as well as the present and the future, and remember that no man can ever lose a single moment of time, for it remains a part of eternity after it has passed. Whatever happens to you has been waiting to happen since the beginning of time. The twining strands of fate wove both good and ill together, and both are necessary for the fabric of life to exist. Take heed not to be deceived by the outward appearance of things, for reality often lies hidden beneath the surface. Seek to understand the true nature of the world and your place within it and you will find wisdom and peace. Fortune is a fickle friend, but one that can be tamed through the power of reason. When faced with adversity, do not despair, but rather use the challenges as an opportunity to grow and become stronger. Do not be consumed by the desires and opinions of others, for they are but fleeting illusions. Instead, focus on your own inner truth and let that guide your actions and decisions. True happiness is not found in the pursuit of pleasure or the accumulation of wealth, but in living a life of virtue and wisdom. Seek to cultivate noble qualities of character, such as justice, courage, and moderation, and you will find true fulfillment. Do not be swayed by the passing opinions and judgments of others, for they know not your true character. Seek to live a life of integrity and honor and let your actions speak for themselves. Death is not to be feared, but to be embraced as a natural part of the cycle of life. It is in death that we are released from the bonds of this earthly existence and reunited with the divine. The true measure of a person's worth is not in their possessions or accomplishments, but in the depth of their soul and the goodness of their heart. Strive to cultivate virtue in all that you do, and you will leave a lasting legacy. Remember that your ruling faculty is the only thing that is truly yours and cannot be taken away. The body is subject to injury, disease, and death. Fortune can bring poverty, disgrace, and misfortune. Reputation can be slandered. Opinions and judgments can be false. But your own ruling faculty is yours to control, cultivate, and utilize for virtuous actions. Do not let your thoughts and opinions be dictated by the external world. Instead, let your mind be calm and at peace, anchored in reason and guided by sound judgment. This is the path to true freedom and tranquility. Practice self-discipline and self-control in all aspects of your life. Only through mastering your own desires and impulses can you achieve true inner peace and harmony. Life is short, and the time we have is precious. Do not waste it on trivial matters or meaningless pursuits. 
Instead, focus on what truly matters and strive to make a positive impact on the world. Be mindful of the present moment and live each day as if it were your last. Cherish the simple pleasures of life and cultivate gratitude for the blessings that surround you. Do not be afraid of failure or setbacks. Embrace them as opportunities for growth and learning. It is through adversity that we develop strength and resilience. Seek wisdom and enlightenment in all areas of life. Continuously educate yourself, question your assumptions, and strive for a deeper understanding of the world and your place in it. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Dig within. Within is the wellspring of good, and it is always ready to bubble up, if you just dig. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. The happiness of those who want to be popular depends on others. The happiness of those who seek pleasure fluctuates with moods outside their control, but the happiness of the wise grows out of their own free acts. Objective judgment, now at this very moment. Unselfish action, now at this very moment. Willing acceptance now at this very moment of all external events. That's all you need. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. You have power over your mind, not outside events. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Very little is needed to make a happy life, it is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. If you watch to the end, I am very grateful to you, watch also these videos, 